and guess where we're at? Pier 5. Anyways, as I was saying, um, brand new video. I'm really excited to try out this track. But actually, it's only one practice session because the person that was recording this right now, Rory, he's also here and there's only one space left, so we're gonna have to share it a little bit. But anyways, hopefully there's another space that turns up and you never know, might get another session. But I'm really, really excited as you can tell because we're at Pier 5, the karting track in the UK. And I'm just so excited to look around and yeah, so happy. Oh my God. Right, see you in a minute. <laughs> This is crazy. This is so Because this person is very primarily sponsored by Miami. This is crazy. Miami do exercise. This is so cool. This is so cool. Hey, you need to you need to see the band. New tyres on the car, look! Very pretty. So, hello viewers, and finally, after a lot of time waiting around, we are going out for practice. Finally, and Miles gives me the thumbs up. For this, I'm just trying to follow him because he's already been out, and Rory's already been out, so I, this is my first time at Pier 5, and wow, already. It just amazed me how wide the track was. Like, you could probably fit five carts abreast on most of the circuit. It was very big. This is probably my favorite corn already on the first lap. It's, it's like a three, almost a 360 corner, where it keeps going left until you get to this corner, which was very bouncy. And this first lap, I actually got it pretty good. But down this very long stretch here, going towards these hairpins, which I needed to figure out the braking and the exit of the corner. So, just gonna have a lovely, lovely tr double dive bomb already. And so, and Jack tries to hold it around the outside, but because I break really early, because I have no idea what I'm doing at this point in time. And you see, Mars has already flown off, so I'm probably not gonna be able to follow him if he's that far ahead. But. This is probably the bit, the part of the track that I struggled with for all weekend was that that corner there, very very long right, and I just launched that curb there and it slows you down so much. So I just made sure not to hit the curbs because they slow you down so much if you back into one. But down the straight it felt very fast, which was really good, especially through these first few turns. Like you, the camera doesn't really show it, but especially through this corner here. It's a lot faster than it looks. A lot faster than it looks. And through the left, I flick it right, and I go quite wide onto the rumble strip. And if you hit that rumble strip, oh my god, literally the cart just feels like it's going to shake itself to pieces. So I tried to make sure I came off that. And oh, someone's going for a move. What I found is also the slipstream is very powerful. So people can just dive bomb you like that from a long way back because of the slipstream. So let's try and get a switcheroo, and boom, we got it. Got the old switcheroo through the hairpins. Now along this very short street through this left right, which I felt like was really cool. They also had this massive TV screen where you could see where your lap times was. What were, were, was, uh, I can't speak today. But I think in this session I came overall like fifth fastest, with like a 113.5, which was a pretty good lap time. Good enough for, yeah, mid-pack, I would say. Not not the best, but I think I know after this practice, I knew where I could definitely improve on. But I don't think too much happens, so I might just be able to make a tiny montage of just me dive-bombing everyone. But, yeah, then I'll come back into the pits, and then, yeah, I'll tell you how it felt like it. Morning guys, um, I've just woken up, it's about 7 o'clock now, um, so what I found from practice yesterday, I think, I know where I can go fast, it's like on the brakes, getting the right exit, and this third sector of the track I really struggled with, 
I was only six tenths off the pace, but I think we could definitely bring that closer in the in the race day. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Morning, and um, we're here at Pier Five again. But today it's actually race day. I've come here a tiny bit late, as you can see. I've missed the track walk. That's really sad. But hopefully, still be able to do it by ourselves. And look at this lovely track. Massive, huge. Anyways, it's massive. This track. I'm just gonna have a look around. Oh, Rory, we can catch up to that pack over there. Oh, okay. Or do you want to go, George? Um, I don't know. I want to go with my friends. Uh, hmm. Just friends. And I'll be right back, guys. What's that group up there? We're all gonna do. Do, do, do. They're playing Buckmore Park on the big screen. Hey, what's your pack? That's so cool. Morning, viewers, and today we're back at Pier 5 for another beautiful sunny day. Luckily, I'm in the first group out. Not the first group, but the first session because I'm in Super Cadets. So luckily I won't get too hot, I hope. But it's going to be very, very um, grippy still, very grippy still. And I'm just really excited to do the track here because I know where I can go fast. I was looking at the GoPro footage from yesterday. I'll put that up somewhere. You've probably already seen it on this video. Um, but I'm just gonna, I think the main thing was over there getting the braking right and getting the exit right because I was side a bit too much. And this corner here, I kept feeling like I turned too early and then just mess it up completely. Um, overall on that section too, I felt really good. But apart from that little uh, second part of the chicane, I felt pretty slow on because I would mess it up and then bounce. But I think all I need to do in this practice session is just figure it out. Figure it out, sort it out, and then we've got qualifying, and then pre-final, and then a final. But the carts feel very fast, especially down here, that massive straight, as you can see. That absolutely humongous straight over there. And look, they've even got a massive TV screen over there where they're playing Buckmore Park. And also, but I think this is my favourite circuit now. For, at first it was Buckmore, but I think this might top it. But because it's just so fast and the slipstream was insane, but I think I'm just going to try and sort out those little problems and yeah Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. So I'm just gonna move over and interview this these people Who wants to be interviewed first? Right, Miles Miles Harrison the one and only Boy How are you feeling today? Good you sound very tired. Are oh, you very tired? And there's so many wasps around. I'm yeah, really scared. Yeah, it's on your hand. I'm alert. The thing is, look, the wasps really love me. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, I can't escape them. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, po it's a pocket. A, po a, po a, po a pocket. A po Sorry for my <laughs> words. I can't talk today because like, I, I haven't had sleep. It sounds sleep. like you didn't get any sleep at all. I didn't get, I didn't get sleep. And please, do not give me emotional damage in the comments. <laughs> and this track is really good. Yeah. F in the chat for Mars. It's a good track. I came first in my first yeah. session and first in my second session. <laughs> Let's see, if you race in PFI, you can do it. Remember that I'm an NCP. You're an NCP? Yes. Which means I'm a bot. <laughs> it's an MP it's an MPC. <laughs> Yes. M -E -C. Right, today I can't talk. That's very good. Very, very wise words from that NPC there. Right, yeah. here we go. This is not an NPC. This is Frederick Navarro. Yes. I think I said it right. Did I say it right? Yes. No. Good. The rice boy. Yes. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to go out for practice. And we do have briefings soon. Yes. But it was a, it's a great track. It's yeah. so fast. The grip's insane. Yeah. Because Cartmasters was um, here recently, I think yeah. last week. So yeah, I can't wait to go out again. Yeah. And good luck to you. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Woo. We're so, we're so no, hyped right now. And also, so yes, look at let me find some other people. Right. Bruh. So 
like group from was just going out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get ready in a second because Judas will be out and then it'll be my first session of the day. I've checked my weights, I'm all good. So I just need to get ready and yeah, uh, at least I know the track now, kind of, from day one. And yeah, let's see how much we can improve. So now we are doing practice. This is the first practice. No. Uh, don't listen to me. This is the my first session of the day. So going out. But I think the camera ran out of charge or something in this session because there doesn't seem to be the end bit of the session. But it's only practice anyway. Not not much happened in it. I'll tell you what's happened in it already. So I came first, I think, with the the same sort of lap time as last. I mean, as yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, you know what I mean. The day before, as we see, we're going past Hamish here, using the slipstream and just flying past him. Um, I think, but it, the track felt a lot less grippy, because, well, it hadn't been used. It hasn't been used all day. I mean, I say it all day, what am I talking about today? It was the start of the day, and it was still quite, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it's cold, but, like, the track wasn't fully gripped up. So through the hairpins especially, there wasn't as much grip. But pff, that's about all I had to say about uh, practice. I came first, yeah, like I said, the same lap time as last time, but less grip, so I felt like doing very well as I went off the circuit then. But I think the, my highlight from this was probably just this one move up the inside, which is probably one of my best moves I've done in Club 100. Or the best move I've done in Club 100 yet, so I'll just show it to you now. So as you just saw, that was a really good move. I actually, that was one of the first times, if not the only time, I've actually managed to lock up the brakes when I'm braking. Because I brake so late, and even then, I could have braked later, because it just had so much grip in the corner that you could carry the speed round, and I just zoomed past. And you can see I'm already caught, I'm catching up to Jack Beasley here, who's stuck behind someone else, so I'm gonna send one up the inside, over here. Now we're stuck behind a back marker, I'd say. Not back marker, but you know, not slow drives, more heavy drivers. The heavier drivers are a lot slower out the corners. So look, see, he had a bad exit as well, so I'm gonna sweep up the inside and get past him. So, yeah, that was my highlight from the practice. Uh, not much else to say. And yeah, let's go on to quality. So, now we're going out for quali, which was only like a few minutes later, it felt like. And so, we're just starting up our engines. The left side of the grid is going to take off. And I think me and Hamish and I an idea just to slow down as we're coming out the pit lane. So we get a little bit of a gap and he almost runs over the marshal. Which is <laughs> interesting. And you can see we just went slightly slower out the pit lane. But what I found was in the other session, what I looked at, the toe seemed to matter quite a lot. So you, you'll see in this session, I want to try and stay with Hamish and try and keep in a slipstream, but I felt like I had a lot of pace through the corners. And he's a lot heavier than me, so out the corners he was a lot slower. And you see I launched the curve there, I almost got to front strip. As you can see, my cart seems all right. It's not losing anything down the straight, as you can see, so I think I could tell that I've got a pretty good cart, so I'm not gonna complain. But he seems to break very, very late, Hamish. But then, um, goes wide, so I think he was just letting me pass and I got a bit confused then. And I, I struggled to get in the toe of anybody because there was quite a lot of traffic around the track. As you can see, I'm just gonna show you quite a hairy moment that I saw, saw that I was behind when uh, Jack Redfern tried to overtake a slightly slower car. just happened there was uh, Jack Riffin tried to get up the inside because he got a much better exit than the guy in front and then he uh, the person decided it would be a good idea to swerve across the front of Jack Riffin when he knew he was there he looked over his shoulder he knew he was there Jack Riffin was forced onto the curb he had nowhere to go and had to go into the side of um, the red guy and they both got forced off the circuit there 
I'm not sure entirely who was at fault, but I think uh, I think Jack Redfern got penalty for it. I'm not sure if he should have got that penalty. I'm not sure, but I think it was kind of 50-50 both ways. As could, as we can see, we've already caught them up quite a lot. And see, let's see if anything else hairy happens. So closing up to some traffic again. I was trying to keep in the slipstream Jack Redfern because he was very fast out on circuit, and I felt like I could kind of keep up with him. So okay, we're up the inside here, but. He has a better run, this red driver. And so we're gonna go through the left right. I lift off a bit to give him enough room. He goes wide, looks over his shoulder, sees me there, and then turns across me as if I wasn't there. So he almost caused a massive accident. And he did exactly the same thing as he just did to Jack Redford. So and then he lets me pass, and I'm now thinking, oh well, I've kind of lost Jack Redford's toe. But I think I set a pretty good lap here. So let's just have a look at it. tidy lap so that was probably one of my fastest so let's just have a look and see where we were in our qualifying group on the big board here I don't know if you can see it but I think I was fourth fourth or fifth which was all right I get I think it was fourth so that was pretty good I could definitely still improve on this corner we're just about to go around but as we're heading off into the pits um, and I didn't get the tar off anyone, so I think I set like a 113.4, which is pretty good. Which is really good without a toe. But I could definitely still go faster, I think. Um, but yeah, lots to improve on, and let's just see where it puts us in the race. So, here is the pre-final, and we're starting P4 on the grid after that qualifying. I feel like I could have gone faster but with the toe, but I didn't really get any toe off anybody. So, George is on pole, Lewis is second, and I'm not entirely sure who's third, but he must have got a good amount of toe to get that lap time. So here we are, pace cart seems happy, he's pulling off, and here we go, in the tram lines, and oh my gosh, here we go, and Lewis Sumner's just flown off into the distance on that start, I think that probably is a jump start, but I'm just right next to George here, he's got past me, but... We're down into, we've made a position up, so we're in third, which is very good. So, see if we can hold this position. So, my plan is for this race is to just stay with the top three and try and keep in their slipstream, because it made a big difference. That's why I was talking about the tone and the qualifying and everything like that. So, me and George have both got the toe off Lewis, so hopefully it should be quite easy and simple to get past. So, I'm just trying to follow George for this first lap to see where I'm faster than him and he's faster than me around the circuit. I always give people space on the braking zones and stuff like that so then they don't feel under pressure. Oh, and George has gone for a dive bomb and he's got past. So me and George have both got past on the first lap there on Lewis Sumner and now I'm in second place in this pre-final from fourth, so that's a pretty good first lap. Really good launch. Let's see if Lewis suddenly got a penalty or not. Uh, I think, 
Yeah, penalty for number 36. I think that's his card number. Anyways, I can't remember the numbers. Anyway, we're following George, trying to find a way past. But I kind of want, don't want to do anything stupid, because I was thinking about the championship and stuff like that. See, I think thought about it for a second, but I pulled out just then. I always got a really good exit out of here, so I'm almost... I almost... I thought about it for a second. Almost flew past him there. But I think there's someone on the side of the track that um, just distracted me for a little bit. So get a much better exit again. His car doesn't seem to pull out the corners as well. But the slipstream is helping me a lot here to try and help get past him. I'm really, really trying to get past him. But again, I don't want to do anything stupid and take both of us out. Because that would be very silly. So, thoughts about going to the outside there? Trying to get a switch back or something, I think. I think that's what I was planning to do, but we stay in second. He runs a bit wide, but he gets a much better exit. But now, watch, we should get the toe down the straight again. Look, he hits the curb a little bit and it slows him down. And now, you can just see how much the toe makes a difference. And his defending is really holding us up here. Really holding us up. Which is... Not the best, that took me a while to think about what to say. Anyway, still in second. Trying to find a way past, and he goes, and I launch the curb, and I go, very, very, very good run. I'm gonna pass him here, and what's happened? On oh, this yellow flag. As soon as I'm about to overtake, as <laughs> soon as I got a massive switch back, and there's a yellow flag, so I can't overtake, obviously, because yellow flag means blah, 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 blah. You know what, how it goes. So, we could have got past there if it weren't for that yellow flag, but still in second, so we've still got lots of points if we stay where we are. I'm just thinking to myself, wait for something to happen, don't do anything stupid. So, I don't think too much happens until quite a while later in this race. So I think for a few laps, I mean for a few laps, I mean for a lot longer in this pre-fun, I think I just stick behind George. So I think I'll skip to when something kind of interesting happens. so quickly all the race just changed like that it was insane so basically all that happened was I was right on George's bumper for ages I think I pressured him into making that mistake and then now I'm through and nothing really happened from this point there's about four minutes or so three minutes or so left of the race and I think there was a massive battle behind me or something happened and then all of a sudden I found myself out of like a two second gap and then I won, and there's the checkered flag, and yeah, P1. So, great drive from P4 to P1. Now, on to the final, the one that could get me a trophy. So, I was really proud of that race, um, that pre-A final. Started fourth, got a great start. Lewis jumped the start slightly, but I followed him, but I didn't get a jump start penalty because I went a little bit earlier when the lights went green. Um, so I made up two positions on the start, no, wait yes, I made up two positions on the start so I got into P2, Lewis got a penalty and dropped down, George I think overtook both of us and then he was winning for quite a while, then he made a big mistake on the final corner over there, he hit the curb over there and he launched him up in the air and he had a really bad drive off the corner and I sneak, snuck past him. Then Lewis Sumner was right on my tail, and I thought, oh no. And then through the, through the 
braking so because I could feel him bumping my rear of the car and I was like oh no this is not gonna work out so but then luckily he made a big mistake over there tried to go for a dive bomb me apparently which I didn't see and you didn't see on the camera and he messed it up and then I um, got a really good gap maybe like two seconds and I just had to go as fast as I could get the good laps in and then I won but Miles Harrison did a great race where he managed to go from like P7 or 8 really far down the grid to second so now now I either have to get, now I'm just trying to get a good start, a good launch, get a gap, and if I get a cap, gap, then I'll probably be able to stay in first, but if I don't get a good launch, then well, I'm probably going to end up getting swamped and then I'll have to defend like crazy, like George did, but I think, don't think I was going to get past George unless he made a mistake, but, I'm, but that strategy works, so I'll definitely use it for another races to come, so... I'm really, really happy with how that went. It went exactly to plan. I was kind of wanting to stay in P2, but it doesn't matter. As I won, um, you, you can't complain about that. But yeah, can't wait for the final. So, here we are, full of final for PFI in the Super Cadets. So here we are, on pole position. Pace cart seems happy with the pace, I guess. So here we are, and it's green light, and away we go. So I think that was a pretty good launch from my side of the grid. I think we're gonna hold pole, um, pole, first place for these first few corners, and we're gonna hold it. Make sure we take the racing line, try and pull away as much as we can because I know I've got a good launch. So I need to pull away as much as I can and make sure they don't get in my slipstream, otherwise this race is going to be hard, really hard this race. So I look behind and I've already seen I've got a massive gap, so I need to push as hard as I can. I think in this race I set my fastest lap time at like 113.1, so I was really pushing hard up there, trying to get the fastest lap times as I possibly could up there. But from this fir the first lap, I think it just went really smoothly from there, if I'm honest. Literally held first place for basically the entire race. So, I mean, you can watch the entire race if you want to see some good lines, but I mean, it's up to you. Um, so, I think I might just leave this on. I commentate over a few laps, so here we are, first flying lap of the race, so through the left right, don't hit that curb, it launches the car up too much, flat through here, trying to minimise the steering input, coming back across and then using all the circuit, do not hit the rumble strip on the outside, as soon as you've got the car over to that side, flick it the other way and make sure you don't hit the rumble strip on the outside, as I just touched it there, because it slows you down a lot, so down the main straight, head down, and the braking lay as you can into the hairpin, Getting as close as you can to the curb, but don't hit it, otherwise you're unstable the car. Make sure you don't hit the rumble strip on the outside once again. Turning in. Clipping the apex. Don't hit the rumble strip on the outside again, otherwise it's going to fly you up. And slow you down. So through this left right. Flat. Trying to maximise the exit speed. For this corner, which is a lot tighter than it looks, flick it in. And this corner is very hard, you have to go in quite wide, I found then lift off mid corner to try and carry the speed because it tightens up gradually. So through these final few corners of this lap, make sure not to hit that curb. And then yeah, that's a lap of PFI. So I think I will leave you with about eight minutes of fast laps of me in the lead.
here we are going on to the final lap of this pretty non-eventful race I would say I mean not much has actually happened but you'll see literally everything happened on the last lap so here we go around these first few bends I look behind my shoulder and see someone who just came out of nowhere and I just see them at the last second and go very defensive make sure they don't get past because they were very close to getting past there so up the hill through the left right I felt very good through this bit get a bit sideways and lose a bit of speed and obviously the rumble strips you can see I'm going defensive here but I have one person on my outside one person on my inside I have nowhere to go Miles gets past and then the person first thing that's Iron Iron Racing I think he's way out in front already even after just overtaking me so on the last lap we've lost two positions in one corner this is not good but hopefully we can make them back on these last few corners of the race of the entire day actually so trying to get in the miles of slipstream but look at Aiden he's already got a gap that's almost out of miles of slipstream miles is going very very close to Aiden I thought I could get past there but miles is bouncing all over the place but see if I can get a switch back along here I'm not sure I think I'm just gonna have to get a good run out of this final corner see if I can get past miles I get on the inside I try and pull up alongside him I'm getting super super close and that's gonna be it P3 in the end but I think Mars got a penalty for something that I can't remember but I don't think it should have been a penalty but that's the race for today P2 in the end so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you for another couple of rounds at Wilton Mill see you soon